Thank you for joining me. Uh, you just heard Professor Paul Gately um, when we were talking about obesity and he touched upon the the food issue. Um, uh, 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 an interesting point in it that he says, yes, fruit and veg is there, but are you going to think uh, that's going to go off or I can buy X, which is, I don't know, fast food, frozen or junk, what we might call junk food, which will last a lot longer. Uh, which brings us back to, and we've discussed it already today uh, from the point of view of mental health, the cost of living crisis. Now, interesting information um, from a witch um, survey, the Consumers Organization. It shows, research shows that no frills discounters when it comes to supermarkets are hiking prices faster than their rivals, adding hundreds of pounds to the annual costs of shopping baskets. Uh, analysis by which um, they looked at 26,000 everyday items uh, re revealed that Lidl's prices rose by 25.2% between March 2022 and March 2023. Uh, the most of the eight food re retailers that they surveyed. And next came Aldi, uh, second on 23.7%. Now, both of them have, uh, both those supermarket chains, of course, have uh, expanded rapidly in recent years and together now control more than 17% of the grocery market. That's more than Sainsbury's, more than Asda's. Um, now, uh, it's interesting that the most hard up shoppers effectively are worst hit uh, because of this. Of course, Rishi Sunak is saying he'll do something about it. Well, the politician saying, uh, let's bolt the doors after the horses have not only escaped into the yard, they're actually at the knackers yard, but I digress. Uh, joining me now is uh, Roger Gewold. Um, CEO of Fair Money, uh, Roger. Uh, supermarkets are saying there are they have a lot of prices that they have to cover, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, is this a fair price hike? Is it a delayed one? Is it something they might now do something about now the light shone upon them? It's uh, it's very hard to tell, Tricia. I mean, it's you know, it's just a typical uh, Sunday afternoon in ripoff Britain. Uh, where nothing gets done about anything to help muggins that is the 66 million of us um i don't i don't want to take issue with anything you said but when you use the word rivals i just clarified a little more it's not hmm. it's it's actually rival products where the problem lies i mean ah. these these guys these people have actually increased by more than anything else the cheaper products that are mainly for the poorer demographic. So, I mean, they've gone out to shaft the most vulnerable. Uh, I'm not saying by any means they're doing that on purpose, but somebody has got something wrong. What I mean is that the, the, the cheaper goods that the supermarkets produce for economy shoppers, the sales, of, which were big sales before the pandemic, but the sales which have increased 46% in the last 12 months, Ooh. those products, Tricia, have had the largest price rise, larger than brands like Heinz Beans. They've gone up 25%. But is that just because that, because they're moving at such high numbers, it's aha, this is where we can make a, a, a profit. And often, uh, uh, you know, one manufacturer called, I'm just making this up as I go along, but let's say a manufacturer called Smith's will do discount, you know, something for um, a, a discount supermarket, as well as maybe something for Marks and Spencer's, as Waitrose, and, you know, so it'll be one manufacturer producing the same goods under a different sort of title. So surely where their product is being sold the most, that's where they're going to shift the price upwards. Well, that, that's right. Uh, but I mean, that's the manufacturer. Here we're we're focused. The which survey, uh, which was 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 carried out for the Sun. I mean, this is this is all from the Sun. Uh, you know, right there in the News UK building with you. Um, that survey was about the supermarkets and the uncanny thing is that people are actually having to take things out of their shopping trolley and put them back uh, you know because they realize all of a sudden that they can't afford the entire grocery shop and 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 the tragic thing is the largest part of that is what's supposed to be the economy goods for people who don't have that much to spend why in the world should they go up by more than anything else 
You're absolutely right about the different things. I mean, with tins of spaghetti, you can get a very nice pucka tin of spaghetti for two and a half quid. Uh, or you can get a cheap version made by somebody else that's got nothing to do with the supermarket for 56p. Mm. But today, that particular supermarket's chain owned, hello, here's our cheap economy brand, is £1.90. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you think, you know, Rishi Sunak is making sounds about doing something and you alluded to your cynicism, which is, seems to be much on a par with mine. But do you Ooh. think just the fact that the, the, the witch has come out with this, the supermarkets are going to have to react in some way, shape or form? Look, I, I don't spend all my time criticizing uh, the acts of politicians, particularly these days. Sometimes I'm sleeping. Um, but <laughs> you know why Rishi Sunak is going to hold a meeting with the supermarkets? I mean, why don't they come out and do something to protect us? Uh, yeah. Why doesn't uh, the government? I mean, the banks have. I don't know if you've seen the figures. The banks have made a fortune, and abs. It puts the oil companies, the energy companies, to shame. They made a fortune from a genius Andrew Bailey's twelve Ooh. interest rate rises, which yeah. have done nothing whatsoever to curb inflation. And they haven't passed almost any of it on to us on our savings accounts. Why doesn't the government do something about that? They make people and banks and things do other things, but why don't they do something? Where's the labor? Where's Lib Dem saying, hey, you know, if we were in power, we'd do this. No, instead, Starmer says, if we were in power, we'd elect the chairman of the BBC. We'd make yeah. peers and, and knights wait a period of time before they got out. Who cares? You know, I mean, yeah, I, can't, I can't any agree. of these politicians protect us? It's more. ridiculous. I couldn't agree with you more. They're fiddling while we burn. Roger, thank you so much for that. We're going to keep an eye on those prices, see if they do do anything and do what... I was going to say, do what it says on the tin. Um, Roger Gilwab there, CEO of Fair Money. Uh, let me just remind you that 